Asana. Uh, Finish the second spell is really under, uh, underestimated with the grounding ability. So we go for the Thresh instead. I just look for the damage from Infinity Orb. And just feel the echo while he, when he arrives. If I does Righteous Glory, I run straight to through his cage. Or if there, so I the Tristana. Flinging her in the Fizzled. And won us the game. My blade is yours. So we are currently making our way to the top 1, cinched on EU server. We are at Diamond 3 right now with 4 marks. Our cinched has a 64% win rate this season. And here's my build real quick if you need it. And let's not waste any time and jump into the gameplay. So since we don't build the mana boots anymore, I like to start with the our burning item, and like usual, we go ward our red to start at blue, so we don't run out of mana with our poison. Go back and grab the sweeper, and then what I usually do is I uh, start with the blue, already look top lane and mid lane. There's a nice chance for level 2 gank, because since level 2 gank is really strong with ghost and the fling. Like if top lane was fighting more even there, I would just straight after blue run up there and uh, gank to Warwick. But yeah, the turn got stomped in the early fight and had to recall, so we just uh, clear our top side. Make sure to always drag out the camp with you to save some time in the last hit. But don't uh, take too far so it doesn't reset of course. We put another point in the poison. And I like to clear the raptors and use the vision plant to see if I can take the grab. Oh, not much happening here. I just uh, speed up the rest of the clear. Then we recall for the Bami Cinder and tier 1 boots. Would be bad to go bot lane now even though it looks like a good gank, because we don't have any camps up there. So instead I go top lane. Use our ultimate for the move speed and more damage. But uh, Warwick flashes away right when I wanted to fling him behind me. I had to walk behind him, otherwise I fling him in the safety. Take the blue and then look for a Vega gank. Also saw Aqua over blue. Fling him in the turret, so he has to hold out. Now we continue with our jungle clear. We didn't do wolf there because uh, there was a good opportunity to gank the Vega before. And on Singed you don't want to prioritize farming like on champs like uh, Gale or Yi or any of these uh, efficient clearing champs. Can't, uh, can't go help the trend already because we are too low, but after we smite the crab we will have enough HP. So now we go there. Also got our ult again. But the Trent gets like instantly killed so we can't really fight the Warwick without him. I would win but he can just run away. So I don't chase him too long. Should be fine here. And I go instantly mid lane to place it. Because it will get the turret and three plates to get us more ahead. And then I also clear Gromba as well, because that's the only camp that's left up here. And we go both side after, so the Gromba will have respawned when we are back here. Now we go back, uh, get our Searing Crown. We'll really pause by our jungle clear. And we also got uh, Righteous Glory tier 2 boots with magic resist 
against the Vega, Warwick also does magic damage, Thresh does magic damage, and of course the Echo, so I think they are pretty good here. Warwick does uh, hybrid damage. We also got the Searing Crown for armor. So here I wanted to fling the Tristana, but she got into safety too, too far. Push me that I get hooked on the turret. Oh, I die for the Thresh kill. Oh, that means we get one. So we can change our thing with us. Look like a beautiful thing. We dodge the Vega ability by walking into his cage. And we still have our old running, so. Trying to look for some more skirmish here. And I barely failed to fling the Tristana, unfortunately. Pretty sure I clicked it, but it took too long for the game to do it. Now we uh, ground the Tristana. Uh, Finished second spell is really under, uh, underestimated with the grounding ability. It's so strong against champions like Tristana or like yeah, all these champs that are really reliant on their jump. Also Ezreal, Azix can jump. Like there's a lot of champions that uh, don't like to be grounded. So next I like to go for Rift Herald, uh, Rift Maker, sorry, because it gives you the sustain from clearing the jungle. And also way more damage than uh, Rylas and more sustainability. Rylas is definitely good on Singe, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's a bit over Overestimated. Cross is low is good, but you basically give up a lot of damage. Because Singed has items that give him huge power spikes like Riftmaker, like Leon Reese if you already got some HP. Infinity Orb is also really good on Singed in my opinion. Getting the uh, critical Damage on low HP targets is really strong as your poison because it's basically on everyone in the fight. So Echo is out. I'm actually not sure if uh, my grounding ability keeps him from ulting because he didn't while he was in the second spell. So I was just expecting Echo here in this bush. So I walked up here again. Now I wanna just uh, go for the drake basically. So I have my ult back up in 10 seconds. This might echo. He has to ult again. Unfortunately, Jinx doesn't get him. <laughs> that one is just uh, AFK pushing top. But yeah, we give up the drag or the fight at this point. Because the drag is really not that important and we don't have ultimate, we have a lot of gold. And my team, team even gets the jungle. So after the reset we go help them of course. I catch the Tristana. This ghost. And then I go straight for the Baron, but my full life jinx just recalls man. That pretty much fucked us here. So I got the echo, he smiles early. Why I don't even get to smite. I 
kill the Vega, but then... We die because Jinx wasn't there. So we just go for a clear top side. We fling the Echo. Doesn't expect the burst from Infinity Orb. But yeah, no one else is here with us, so we don't get more kills. We have no ghost, unfortunately, so we go for the Thresh instead. I just look for the damage from Infinity Orb. I really wasted my ult here, though. It was pretty bad. Anyway, we just go for the turret. Towards their enemy blue buff. Which is pretty good at uh, counter jungling because you can just pull them away. And I would say uh, <laughs> I was better at sniping, I can could easily steal that. So, thanks to our magic resist boots. We survived that fight and just feel the echo while he, when he arrives at us. Now we can just go for the dragon. Dragon's not that impactful, but when it's free like this, I would still go for it. So Vega can't escape. And I have to use Ghost too here so he doesn't escape. He wastes his onions as well. We just burst him. By the way, if, you, if I would be against uh, very tanky enemies here, I would go for Leandris. But uh, usually I think Robert and after after's Infinity Orb is better against Squishies because the poison has really good AP scaling. So we got the Robert on now. And uh, go straight to the Elder Drag. Elder Drag is also crazy good and singed. Because you have your damage on them for so long. Like if anyone gets low, you basically execute them. Because the poison is on everyone and... Uh, yeah, even if they run away, it will stay on them for a while. So we grab the Elder. I ping straight to Baron, but no one is following, so... I just push mid lane. And Vega tries to fight me. With Righteous Glory, I run straight to Bruce Cage. Or if it's there. With the infinity of the Elder Dragon, he's instantly dead. Then we Nexus dive the Tristana, bringing her in the Fizzled, and won us again. Four marks and diamond three. Looks like the MVP. Did the most damage, but yeah, seventy percent kill participation, and we also tanked a lot. See you in the next one. Mother always said, subscribe to Pacquiao, and if that's done, click the bell so you don't miss any videos.